I started to understand that my speech is not super unique and interesting in some ways. Yes, it is good for a native person to speak this way of English, but I understand that I want to be a bigger, cooler, and I want to be even cooler than native. And today we will start new show, like maybe show, maybe not. It is improvisation time, because always I talked about uh, some topics that people know. Yes, like uh, how to be a good, successful person. You can find many articles on the internet about it. How to be like a nice performer. You can find many interesting topics about it. And also some questions that uh, you can Google and you will find it. But something creative you did not find on my channel. Yes, you maybe found some maybe songs and uh, something like this. But I want to make it bigger and uh, let's today start a new thing called uh, storytelling, improvisation uh, storytelling. I thought about it uh, for a long time, but need to start from some th something. It, it, it will be a good content, I hope so. Okay, let's start our, sh our show story. There was a bee. A bee was flying near the forest. Forest was green, huge and nice, calm. And inside of this forest, this bee found a little, a little, <laughs> a little wolf with a big fangs. And then bee flew near this wolf and started to talk with him. Hey, dude, what are you doing in this, uh, in this place of forest? What are you doing? And then wolf answered. I'm trying to find a mammal, but I can't find n normal, medium mammal, because I'm so small, my fangs are so big, they think about me that I'm so cringy and weird. And then Beast asked, answered that, uh, hey dude, don't be so shy, you're a normal, cool guy. And then it became a friendship between a bee and this dude and they were and they started to hunt hunt uh, in this forest they were hunting and in one day they were walking on the alley i don't know alley or on the road this uh, line of road with mud with uh, some of the S sand, yes, and they found a small wolverine, and this wolverine was with a huge, like, a, I don't know, how to say it, do you know cat, yes, cat with a huge amount of uh, fur, they found this kind of furry, furry, furry wolverine, and uh, started to talk with this small wol wolverine with so big amount of fur. Hey dude, what are you doing in this forest? We want to eat you. <laughs> and, and this dude said, don't eat me please. I will be good person with you. And uh, <laughs> then started conversation between wolverine and, uh, and this uh, wolf. And Wolf said, I want to eat, I didn't eat for a long time, I didn't eat for two years, and right now I'm so small, I need to eat something. Please, can I eat something from you? And then Wolverine said, okay, you can eat my, <laughs> you can eat my buttock right now. And then Wolverine started to do, how to say it, eating of the butt, of the buttock of this person, of this wolverine. He only opened this mouth, but then, all of a sudden, B <laughs> decided to make some of the stinging, stinging of this wolf, and said, what are you doing, man? Why do you eat some of the small person? He is so, like, maybe unique in some way. And uh, what are you doing? And uh, then w Wolf said that, oh Jesus, I didn't think, yes, maybe he's so cringe like me and weird uh, like you too. And uh, let's go, we will create a band, band of three person, 
two animals and one insect. They created a band. They decided that, okay, we can do something and then we can earn money. They created a band. They were playing on instruments, musical instruments. Wolverine were, were playing on bass guitar. B started to play on the, how to say it, honey, honey drums. Honey drums, uh, she, she used like a honey to play on drums. It was kind of jazzic, jazzic sound. And near was uh, Wolverine, who played on his fur. It was like a was harp. Yes, on, on his fur, he was playing on, on his fur like a harp. It was interesting for him. And then they uh, started to do gigging and uh, ba basking. Basking on uh, this road. They were good. And in one moment, one man were walking near them, one hunter. And he were walking with uh, his dog, big dog, and uh, with a nice gun. And uh, he was walking near them, and he only prepared, he found them the sound, and he prepared to do shot, like a body gang. And uh, then he was walking with this shotgun, with this rifle, rifle, I don't know how to say it correct, and then prepared to smash them. But all of the sudden, B noticed it and flew to dog. And she jumped to the ass of, uh, I mean, that uh, not like a, a sting it to the ass of uh, this uh, dog who was standing and waiting for the shot of uh, his owner. And she did singing to the ass of this dog. And dog started to be like, oh Jesus, need to, need to, how to say it, need to do something. And uh, <laughs> it was hurting. And she started to, uh, how to say it, uh, 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 barking, barking to, to environment. And... <laughs> Hunter started to be afraid what, what the hell is going on here. And uh, only B noticed, only B noticed that something happened, that uh, it was Hunter, because B has a nice uh, sight, eye reading skills. And uh, Wolverine and uh, Wolf continued to play on their bass guitar and harp. It was concert. And uh, we and r right now they notice that oh Jesus why don't we hear drums around us where is the bee and the uh, bee in that moment started to fight on the <laughs> on the drumsticks we and uh, his sting like a three three weapons with it was like a hurricane of weapons with uh, <laughs> with this doggy. Doggy was barking, Hunter was like, oh Jesus, uh, was so confused and surprised in some moment. And uh, in all of a sudden, this happened. Doggy ate this bee. And uh, it was uh, not like a super nice feeling. And uh, this death was noticed by Wolverine and Wolf. And uh, it was not really nice news. And uh, Wolf and Wolverine were so afraid that uh, their friend was dead. And they were afraid of this shotgunner. They ran away. They ran away and uh, then they started to think how to make vengeance, how to make ven vengeance to this owner of this dog. They understood that uh, it is not fault of maybe Hunter, it was a fault of B, <laughs> because B started uh, this 
like a protection. But first person who was who has a fault, it was a hunter who wanted to shoot them. They thought this. And uh, in that moment, they were conversationing with each other, Wolverine and Wolf. Hey man, what can we do? And they decided to continue their gigging and uh, like a playing. They created some tracks, some songs. They were doing this. Each and every day they were rehearsing and in one moment they played concert on a like a what's it on a meadow on a meadow they were playing meadow of uh, corn and uh, on this meadow they found big amount of fans of animals like a huge amount and in some moment Wolverine who were playing on bass he was playing bass solo and uh, in some moment of this concert of solo he finished it and said to the crowd of big amount of animals maybe it was uh, 400 different animals there was there were bears there were foxes there were like uh, woody woodpeckers they were <laughs> <laughs> there were some squ squirrels and they decided uh, uh, wolf decided to say a speech one year and half one h one uh, year and half years ago some not really nice thing happened on this alley on the road near this meadow one hunter decided to to do some things against us and we should make a vengeance against this hunter and this doggy and uh, he said this huge dictator speech to all animals and finally he said it is our forest it is our meadow we can do anything and uh, then uh, was ovations applauding of these animals they decided that need to create a huge robotic monster because Killing by itself, it will be not really nice. Need to create something like a viruses. And uh, they created robotic monster by help of, of insects, like ants, like bees and other, be and other bees. And, uh, and beetles too. And they created a robotic monster who has all information like a Terminator who wanted to find this barn born of uh, this hunter and uh, then this robotic monster started to find where is this person where is the hunter and uh, he found where was our how to say it what's the name of it born house of this hunter it and then by using x-ray and he found that inside of this house like he was standing mo monstrous robotic person was standing and uh, by using x-ray he found aha uh -huh, here and then he used one more tool he used his right hand and laser. He was doing X-ray lasering. He killed this hunter. And uh, then was we were happy ending for all people. I don't know it was happy ending. 
or it was uh, not really nice ending but there was a story about B who found weird Wolverine and Wolf B weird was dead and this per and this uh, hunter who killed <laughs> this doggy who killed a bee eight I don't know Jesus I don't know how to end it <laughs> need to end the gore okay finally this robotic monsters killed hunter but doggy still alive and uh, after maybe will be sequel that uh, hunter who were n who was not f faulted for it fully it was fault of uh, doggy who started to eat maybe it was a fault of a bee who started to attack them maybe it was something butterfly effect that uh, if B did not find a wolf, then anything could be another way. <laughs> okay, I think that it was interesting video. For me, it was a good practice. I feel kind of frustrated right now <laughs> a little bit because uh, it was not super like a good fully story. But I understand that if I will practice it daily, then it could be really interesting pro progress. I really like what uh, here here just a second if you watched this fully if you find it in some ways funny please let me know it it will be really interesting to me what do you think about it maybe you did some louths maybe not for me it was a good practice of English because I didn't uh, use some words like a fa this fangs fur Yes, it was in my like a passive vocabulary. I knew how to use them, but uh, here I started to use them, and uh, I understand that my my creativeness started to bo started to be boosted. Thank you so much for watching. It was maybe not super funny video in the end, but I hope that everything will be fine. Cool story, cool beginning cool ending it is only story without some of the moral because uh, we can't predict what will be in our life we can't predict what will be after coronavirus we can't predict but all what should we do it is stay humans be humans and uh, yes it is story and uh, we can think about that what was nice what was not nice how can we do it with another way who was our hero and uh, what should we do next keep doing keep practicing see you next time you're a cool person bye bye